I finally made it to Paris and I just got into my Airbnb. It was quite a long train ride and a couple of buses and uh, metros, but I'm here now. So <laughs> I'm gonna try to rest and then get some dinner. Okay, I thought this was a cabinet, but I opened it and it's a refrigerator and it's pretty big. And I'm gonna guess this is the freezer. Yes. And then there is a washer, maybe also a dryer, and some other useful things here. I went to the Leal district to Au Pied de Cochon, which means the pig's foot. It's a brasserie that's been open since 1947 and is open 24 hours a day. So it's open all of the time. It's quite fancy and they have a lot of typical French cuisine here. So a lot of different things to try out. I decided to choose the rosé along with some French onion soup and moule manier, which is mussels with butter sauce. The French onion soup was so delicious. It was really crispy on the outside and crunchy, and it was kind of salty, but I liked it a lot. It was so cheesy and delicious. Definitely have to get it when you come to Au Pied de Cochon. I also got the moule meunier, which is the mussels and the butter and wine sauce and it comes with some pork as well. It's very delicious, very refreshing, and it comes with a side of fries, so it's very tasty. You definitely have to get this dish somewhere in Paris, and it was really great when I got it here, so you definitely have to check it out. The food and service was really great, so you definitely have to come check out Au Pied de Cochon. So I just came back from Au Pied de Cochon and uh, they didn't let me take home the food and I actually learned recently that in France it's kind of like weird to take food home with you um, so I guess it's pretty normal um, that kind of happened at one of the restaurants I went to in Colmar um, so if you do come to France, uh, just be aware of that if you don't finish your food because I had a lot of food left and I'm pretty small so I wouldn't say I eat like that much and I also had uh, the onion soup as well and some wine and I couldn't finish all the mussels that I had um, so unfortunately I couldn't bring it home with me, pretty sad. But I will say that the food was really great and so was the service. Um, everyone was really nice, especially my server. And um, the onion soup was like one of the best I've ever had. And it had so much cheese too, which I loved. The mussels were really fresh and buttery. And man, I, I still can't stop thinking about that onion soup though. So I'm gonna call it a day for day one of Paris. And I have a whole week left and gonna do a bunch of fun stuff.
Bonjour. And good morning, everyone. It is day four of my Europe trip, and it's pretty much the first day day of like being in Paris. Today's itinerary is going to Café de Flore and then going to Bon Marché and just exploring around Saint Germain. So that'll be fun, pretty chill day. Café de Flore has been a very famous Parisian café since the early 1900s. Many famous writers and artists have been here to just have coffee and have meetings such as Picasso, Descartes, and Trotsky. So it is a place with lots of history. <laughs> The croissant was okay. I would probably give it a two out of five. I guess it's better than a Costco croissant. And the hot chocolate was on point, so five out of five. And they give you little chocolates on the side. So I wanted to go to Le Bon Marché because it's a very famous department store and is known to be the first department store in the world. So this morning I went to Café de Flore and the service was really 
nice and uh, my server Philippe was very kind and I was able to speak French with him which was really cool. Uh, I had a croissant in uh, chocolate chaud which is hot chocolate and hot chocolate was so rich and creamy it was so good and uh, the croissant was okay it wasn't the best croissant I've had or anything but um, yeah, it wasn't too bad um, but I wouldn't put it like on a high scale or anything but my experience at Cafe de Flore was very nice and I, I would definitely come again uh, I would want to try like their omelets and um, maybe dinners and lunch and stuff and then I went over to Le Bon Marché which is kind of like a, a department store in France it's very well known they have a lot of uh, brand names and uh, I just kind of looked around and stuff and just looking at the different fashion that they have over here and I really liked uh, the purses that I saw but I'm thinking about going thrifting because it'll probably be cheaper and maybe more brand names and now I'm in uh, the Luxembourg Gardens and it's kind of close by I took a bus it took like less than 10 minutes to get here and it's very beautiful and nice. I believe they have a museum here. I didn't go but I'm just enjoying the view and then I have uh, lunch at Josephine Dumont which is well known for their beef bourguignon and I believe Julia Child said that was her favorite beef bourguignon when she was here in Paris. So definitely have to try it out. The beef of the Boeuf Bourguignon was very soft and tender and it was a delicious meal but I do have to say I like the Julia Child recipe a bit more. For dessert I got an apple tart which was very crispy and warm and delicious. The apples were really fresh and it was very yummy much needed espresso they have a movie theater nearby so if I want to go watch a movie I can go across the street so I just got back home and I was feeling kind of sick when I was at the restaurant I think I've been feeling this way the past couple days uh, during my trip is because I've been overeating and for some reason, alcohol has been affecting me more lately. I don't know why, but I think I'm going to try to lay off the alcohol. And also, if I have to skip out on some foods, I will. Because I know over here that if you don't finish all of your food, they consider it rude. So I don't want to be rude. Luckily, the restaurant, um, Josephine Chez Dumonet, uh, they let me take home 
the leftovers, luckily, because I didn't, I didn't think they would, but I'm glad that they did. So I get to eat some later, but I also have a reservation for uh, dinner at like 9.30. So uh, I guess more food for me. <laughs> For dinner, I headed to Paris Gare de Lyon, which is one of the train stations in Paris near Bercy, and they have a famous restaurant called Le Tron Bleu. So Le Tron Bleu used to be the station's buffet in 1901, and then in 1963, it became the restaurant it's known as today as Le Tron Bleu. It's a very beautiful restaurant that you must go and try out. They have a lot of different French cuisine here. So definitely make a stop here. I wanted to order something not too heavy and also something that I've never tried before. So I decided to go with the boeuf tartare or the steak tartare and I just got water instead of wine but they put the water in a fancy wine glass so that was kind of cute. So they gave me an amuse-bouche which is just something to kind of get my taste buds going and they gave me kind of like a potato onion leek soup with a little mushroom on top. So I'm going to try that out now. Mm. That's really good. It's creamy. It tastes like um, onion leek soup. Or, yeah, leek potato soup. It's, really good. it's uh, very refreshing and delicious. I wish I had more. Um, boeuf tartare before, but um, it's very delicious. It's soft and it's citrusy. It has a nice like onion taste to it because uh, they put onions inside. I, I didn't know if I was gonna like it or not, but actually, actually really like it a lot. So I really like it.
Thank you for watching my video. Check out the next one as I go to iconic restaurants, go on a croissant tour, and visit the Eiffel Tower.